Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I paint this gorgeous dog called Skipper in oil paints on a box canvas. To start with, I paint the canvas with an emulsion and in this case the customer has chosen this kind of burnt orange color and I draw him over the top. And then I fill in the hold of the dog with white acrylic which I then use as a base to paint to start to paint onto with my oil paints. At the beginning my sort of singular ambition is to just try and fill the whole animal with all the right tones and shades from which I can build and develop to get his character. So at this stage I'm painting layering into my wet paint and you can move it around and blend over it and start to get some texture of fur. Um, so the paint remains wet for a long time with oil paints. Um, not sure if you've tried it before but you're going to need to work on your first layer, let it dry for a significant period. Um, and with oil paints it's really learning about what effects you can achieve at what level of dryness. So Skip is taking shape and he really starts to come alive when you get the personality with the eyes and the nose and his little mouth. I've done about three sessions on this where I've been working into the paint where it's sort of semi-wet. I left the painting to dry for about a week and I kept looking at him and I felt he looked a little bit stern and he's a really sweet dog. In fact, he is my neighbor's dog and I thought that isn't quite Skipper. And I realized that I had his eyes a little bit too small, which made him look quite stern. So at this stage, I spent a very, very, very long time redoing his eyes. So with oil paints, obviously you can layer quite easily and I was able to make the adjustments that I needed um, to really get the result. The eyes are absolutely crucial. Obviously, you know, if you get that wrong, it's just not the right animal. The white highlights on the eye are just so satisfying because the eyes just suddenly start to look so lovely and real. Um, I'm really getting into the details here and I am a bit of a detail freak so I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos but I am detail orientated let's say. Um, that's how I roll. As you can see, I'm using an absolutely tiny brush. Um, I use miniature brushes and to achieve things like the whiskers, um, I use a rigger, which is a very long, thin brush, which is fantastic for just getting that sweep to try and get the tapered end for the fur and the hair. It's quite an art to actually get the right amount of paint on the brush and to give that confident sweep down, um, but practice makes perfect. Using different brushes and different directions of brush strokes is what really helps you achieve the effect of fur, especially around the outside of the dog, so that you get that lovely fluffy haze. So just a few finishing touches and I am done. Sometimes I really struggle with when to stop, 
um, I will leave my website details in the uh, description below um, because as you can see I can work from a photograph and I can do portraits of your lovely dog and send it to you anywhere in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.